Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis, and I'm Tavis. As you can see here, I have a brand new turntable. It's the Audio-Technica LP120X USB. It's an upgrade from the LP120. It's a little lighter and a little cheaper. So we're going to have an unboxing and a review. So let's get right to it. Okay, here's the LP120X USB on a sturdy surface, ready to be unboxed. The box is quite nice, I must say. And I love how the company pays homage to this man right here, Hideo Matsushita, the founder of Audio-Technica, which was established in 1962 in Tokyo, Japan. Let's check out some specs on this turntable. It's a direct drive. It's fully manual. It has adjustable dynamic anti-skate control. It has 33, 45, 78 RPM speeds. Comes with its own cartridge, the ATVM95E. It has a built-in switchable phono preamplifier for phono or line level output, which is just what I needed. Okay, the unboxing. Here's a word of advice for you. While you're unboxing this, don't throw away or disregard the styrofoam because underneath the styrofoam are all the accessories that you need to make the turntable complete, such as the needle and all the other things that come with it. If you throw the styrofoam away, you won't have those things. So please be careful and don't throw away the styrofoam at least just yet. <laughs> now I have all the parts outside of the box. My accessories are sitting someplace else. So on the count of three, we're gonna see everything opened. One, two, three. Well, there you have it. All the parts ready to be assembled and hooked up. Let's take a look at all the contents we have here. Okay, first up we have the AC power adapter. We have the USB cable and the RCA cable and the 45 RPM adapter. We have the felt mat. We have our platter assembly, looks really nice. Then we have our dust cover, very important. Then we have the head shell with a cartridge or needle. And we have the counterweight assembly. This little thing right here is the stylus Q light. And we have our hinges for the dust cover. And finally, our pièce de résistance, our turntable chassis. Now, as I'm recording this video, I'm setting this up for the first time. I've never had a turntable of this scale or magnitude. So as I do this, I'm learning along with all of you, okay? So I have my instructions and I'm just doing it and recording it as I'm doing it. So let's get it on. First up, we're going to place the platter on the spindle. So just align that hole with the spindle and put it on there, make sure that it's really on. Then we're going to get our felt mat and put it through the spindle as well. And there's that. Next, we're gonna take off that tie that's keeping the arm down. Just twist that thing off there uh, and unlock it then take that white paper off there. This is kind of a booger to do when you're filming with one hand and doing this with the other. But uh, I'm gonna get that little booger out of there. <laughs> Show enough, I'm gonna do it. Then put that arm back and lock it back in its place, just like so. Next, we're going to install the head shell and the pre-installed cartridge. Just slightly push it into the arm and then turn the little wheel there 
and it will just pull itself into place like magic. Now we're going to install the counterweight. Make sure that the numbers are facing the front. Thread that counterweight in the back of the needle arm, just like so, and it should look just like this. Now we're going to set our anti-skating dial to zero. It may already be on zero, but just turn it again and make sure that it's on zero. This is very important for our next step. At this time, I'm removing the plastic covering from the cartridge. Do it very carefully. Now I'm at the part that I dread. This is called balancing the tone arm. So what you're going to do is unlock the arm and it's going to kind of flop up. So be sure to take care of it, treat it carefully. Then you're going to rotate um, that counterweight and gently hold the head shell, you know, and we're going to make sure that as you are turning that counterweight that the arm eventually is horizontal with the turntable and you don't want the needle to get on the platter or anything like that so make sure that it just is floating horizontally as you turn that counterweight and once it does that then gently place the arm back in its resting place and lock it for the next step now we're going to turn the number dial portion of the counterweight until the number zero is aligned with that line on the arm. Now we're going to rotate the entire counterweight counterclockwise until the number two is aligned with that black line on the tone arm. The reason why we set it to two is because this is the recommended tracking force for this particular cartridge that comes with this turntable. Now I'm going to set the anti-skating dial to two, the same number as the counterweight dial was set. Make sure that they are the same. In this case, it's two and two. Now with this turntable, I'm going to be using the CR3 LTD multimedia monitors. And I'm going to be using the RCA cable that came with the turntables packaging. I'm going to connect red to red and white to white from the power monitor. And I'm going to connect it to the turntable in the same manner. Red to red, white to white. And also on the back of this turntable, I set the switch to the line option instead of the phono option. And I think I'm set. If all goes well, it really wasn't that hard. And the first record I'm going to play on this bad boy is Whitney Houston. Let's see how this turns out. I'll let you know if it's playing the way it's supposed to. Hey y'all, if you're looking for a turntable, this is the bomb. <laughs> I can't believe how great it sounds. I am in awe. I am so excited. Oh my God, it sounds so good. And this has made the listening experience even more better. This has been fun. My first time doing something like this. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, don't put me down too much. I think I did a pretty good job. So as always, with music, 
and with good turntables. <laughs> Be inspired and stay inspired.